Morning, Greg. This is the Dave Ross Show, early edition. Anise Parker, Houston's controller, was elected mayor of Houston Saturday. And what's made news is not that she won her seventh consecutive city election or defeated a candidate hand-picked by the Houston business community, but it's who Anise Parker is. I came to city government to do things, to make things happen. Well, that she's going to make things happen, yes, they all say that. No, but what makes this news is that Anise Parker is going to be the first... To transform the city, because cities can transform people's lives, and that's what yes, I intend to, to do. to transform the city, okay. But the news is that she is the first mayor of Houston to be openly gay. And not only that but the first openly gay person to lead any major U.S. city, according to reporters who keep track of such things. She even won, even though the social conservatives sent out mailers attempting to make the election a referendum on gay rights. What voters seemed to care about more was her promise to rein in the city's $4 billion budget. At her victory party, she introduced her three children and her partner, Kathy Hubbard, a partner she cannot marry because Texas has outlawed gay marriage, and who she can't even put on her insurance policy because Houston defeated a referendum to provide benefits to same-sex partners of city employees. She says it is not her intention to use her position to expand gay rights. But you know, if she does bring that $4 billion budget under control, and maybe even reduces taxes, a grateful electorate might begin thinking that even she might deserve to marry whomever she wants especially in a country that lets somebody like Tiger Woods get married. This is Dave Ross, back at 9 with the Dave Ross Show on News Talk 97.3 Cairo FM.